Hello, everyone. Welcome to Vibrant. My name is Greer McGinnis. I am one of the clinical lab educators here. And today we are going to talk about mycotoxins. This is the mycotoxin test walkthrough video. Mycotoxins are naturally occurring toxins produced by certain molds and can be found in food and or buildings. Mycotoxins can cause a variety of adverse health effects and pose a serious risk to both humans and livestock. Adverse health effects from mycotoxins can be acute poisoning to chronic. On the right-hand side of the screen, this is one of our handouts from my on mycotoxins in the Vibrant Resources. You will see these are other conditions and symptoms associated with mycotoxin exposure. Anything from fatigue and weakness, loss of balance, skin rashes, hearing loss, sleep problems, vision changes, skin changes, disorientation, and dizziness. To order your mycotoxin test, you will choose the Vibrant Wellness Portal and choose vibrant mycotoxins. Testing for mycotoxins is a simple and non-invasive urine collection analysis. The patient will collect the first morning's urine and mail back to vibrant. Testing restrictions, fasting for 12 hours, may increase the excretion of mycotoxins from the adipose tissue, but this is not required. Vibrant uses mass spectrometry technology to measure levels of mycotoxins in urine. With a patent pending proprietary technology, Vibrant is able to detect molecules as small as five picograms, which greatly expands the number of detectable mycotoxins. Vibrant is able to test for over 33 different mold species. This is another handout in the mycotoxins portal. You will see that it is divided into two columns for food mold and environmental mold. When you receive your final report, the mycotoxin summary page will have a brief box to show you what levels came back for your patient, indicating a high level out of range in the red box or in a moderate range below in the yellow box. On the next page, we'll have the aflatoxin page. Aflatoxins are found mainly on food-derived molds. They are secondary metabolites produced by different strains of Aspergillus species. Widely found as a contaminants in a great variety of crops, cereals, oil seeds, tree nuts, and spices, common crops which have been found to contain aflatoxin include cassava, chili peppers, corn, cottonseed, millet, peanuts, rice, sesame seeds, sorghum, sunflower seed, tree nuts, wheat, and a variety of spices. When contaminated food is processed, aflatoxin enters the general food supply where they are found in both pets and human food, as well as feedstock for agricultural animals. You will notice that there are several species of aflatoxin aflatoxin M1, B1, B2, G1, and G2. Aflatoxins are mostly commonly ingested. However, aflatoxin B1 can be absorbed through the skin. Aflatoxin exposure can lead to many health risks, including a greater risk of liver cancer in humans. You will notice that the second page of the report will also have the other sections. These both will have different species of food and environmental mycotoxins. 
Some examples here are okra toxin A, which is commonly found in barley, oats, rye, wheat, coffee beans, and other plant products. It is characterized as nephrotoxic, as well as toxic to the liver, immune suppressant, and a potential carcinogen. Gliotoxin is produced by common indoor molds and enters the body by inhalation. It is produced by various fungi, including candida albicans, and can trigger immunosuppression, neuroinflammation, neurotox neurotoxicity, and cell death of microglial cells, astrocytes, and oligodendrocytes. Citronin is a nephrotoxic mycotoxin, mainly produced by penicillium. Although other genres such as aspergillus and monoscus are also known to produce these toxins. Citronin occurs in different plant products, especially in grains and also beans, fruit, vegetable, herbs, and spices. Besides its ne nephrotoxicity, which has been proved by various studies, there is also proof that citronin is involved in induction of apoptosis through oxidative stress. On the last page, we have the trichothecins. The trichothecins are a very large family of chemically related mycotoxins produced by various species. These mycotoxins are commonly found on food such as wheat, oats, maize, but can also be produced by molds and fungi, which can grow indoors on water damaged mater materials. They can also be absorbed through dermal contact. Trichothecins accelerate the production of reactive oxygen species in cells and inhibit protein synthesis in a number of ways, leading to cell damage or even cell death. Trichos, trich, trichothecins, also known with Stachybotrys charterum, aka black mold, which gets its name from black splotches on contaminated surfaces. Note that it can also be greenish black in color and can be found on indoor surfaces sampling and indoor air sampling. It can grow on materials such as fiberboard, drywall, and paper, and grow occurs when there is moisture from water damage, leaks, condensation, or flooding. We do test urinary creatinine. Urinary creatinine tests that measures usually that measures analytes by creatinine concentration will not be altered by urine volume or hydration status. The results are calculated according to the concentration of creatinine, which will not be altered by low or high urine volumes. For our practitioners, we have a mycotoxin interpretation guide to help assist you with your interventions for your patients. To obtain your interpretation guide, please visit the resource section in the Vibrant Portal and select the mycotoxin folder. When assessing your abnormal mycotoxin results, you may want to consider further workup of other tests such as the gut zoomer, heavy metals, environmental toxins, the neurozoomer plus, salivary hormones, urinary hormones, and micronutrients. Please feel free to make an appointment with one of the clinical lab educators to review your patient's results and help you with a plan moving forward. Thank you.